Come and get started on a new mission, mission. a new direction, direction, a new intention. intention. Welcome to 5.8G Alive at Connections 50 Plus. I am Terry Ann Joseph Brathwe. And I am Jennifer Gibbons Joseph, catering to all your prospects in the third act of life. Economic well-being, well-being. social gratification, gratification. personal fulfillment. fulfillment. Join us on Wednesday at 6 p.m. on Connections 50 Plus Facebook page, YouTube channel, and on Gael the Caribbean. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is 5.8G Live, and from all of the Caribbean on YouTube, on Facebook, on Gael the Caribbean, we are here. I am Tarian Joseph Braffitt, one of the co-creators of Connections 50 Plus, and as usual with me, I am Jennifer Gibbons Joseph, the other co-creator of Connections 50 Plus. Welcome and good evening to you all. Good. So last week it was a whole to do. We we celebrated the day of older people, and we said we are continuing the celebrations throughout the month. Mm-hmm. And we told you all we were following the novel The Sky Gets Dark slowly. And today we are beginning with one of our exciting guests, but you're going to hear about that just now, just now. So, Jen, how was your week? What good happened this week? The week was good, you know. Mm-hmm. It was hot. Um, you supervise in school. Do? I know you had a couple of days supervising school. Yes. <laughs> and it's fun now. <laughs> I must, let me take this occasion though, Terry Ann. We have been reading a lot of negative for those in Trinidad, you know, with the online and mm-hmm. the teachers not satisfied and things going on. But I must say, listening in on the teacher, which is a first year, that's, that's what's that, kindergarten, first, first year, year. First year, first year, first, first year. year. I must congratulate that that teacher, and I'm sure there are many other teachers like her who yeah. are being very devoted and could really, you can see that is the profession, Yeah, you yeah. know? So I must congratulate, I'm not here at all, I understand maybe other people have different experiences, but we shouldn't, you know, just blast all. It's a challenge all the way around, and, but, but people yeah, are trying. This is not an easy time. And listening, and I'm saying, you know, mm. all kudos to the teachers because yeah. that's not my calling at all, you know. <laughs> but other than that, because you know, Jennifer, was, Jen- Jennifer was, before Jennifer's granddaughter got into school, Jennifer was a panicking granny, and Jennifer decided <laughs> that she's going to put the child through some school. <laughs> yeah, but you, 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 you've now seen the error of your ways. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And I learned when Marina Torres, when Marina was on as our guest, I must say I learned a lot from the tips that Marina shared. So it was was really good. I attended um, yesterday a virtual birthday. Yeah. Age 70 and it was so much fun and energy. And I know just says for us, hey, aging is great. Yeah. You could have so much fun, you know. As you age, this journey is a great one. The process. And yes. today we are getting into our being a tribe section because the first step on our looking at celebrating the day of older mm-hmm. people is looking at the need for a tribe, companionship, yeah. not being in solitude. And so we have a special, special guest. If you had seen all the prompts and the promos, you know who it is. So we don't have to say anything now. So let's get to being in tribe with our special guest. So Jen, we are starting our series. We're so excited audience um, because we, we did our whole launch last week. And we said that we were following Zhao Daxin's novel, The Sky Gets Dark Slowly. And we went through all of the issues that he said we had to focus on. And the first one was realizing that, listen, your friends are going to be passing on, your parents, probably a spouse, and solitude was an issue. And 5.8 GLive audience, you know, we are not letting that happen to us. 
So today we have a very, very special person, an expert person, and we're going to talk about how not to fall into that trap. So Jen, you want to bring on our guest? Yes, I mean, we have been so, so fortunate to have Dr. Jennifer Rouse, gerontologist with us. Yes, as our okay. guest and Dr. Rouse has been, you know, she's the former director of the Division of Aging. So who else can tell us all about, you know, community and just being out there and all the things that we can do as we age. So Dr. Rouse, welcome to 5.8G Alive. And boy, do you all sound alive. So welcome. <laughs> well, <laughs> Excitement. Because, you know, everybody who knows me know I go with energy. <laughs> right. So, you know, you didn't just say it like, oh, Lord, I don't even know how to pronounce the word gerontologist, <laughs> <laughs> which is what we get. But we, and you will hear us speaking like that with the we, because we in the group. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. Yes. And yes. clearly from your um, affect, what we see on the face of both of you, yeah. you have no problem in aging, clearly. At all. <laughs> At all. Listen, and I, and, I, every, and I start there. Dr. Rouse, everybody on this group knows Jennifer shows off with me because <laughs> I am going to be 60 in December and I can't wait. Jennifer, oh, you are the young up. one. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> I am going, I am, I cannot wait to get into that second yeah. stage of the three stages because we look at 59, 60. I, I am going to be 60. So, <laughs> so you are the baby. You She's are the, the baby. one. I'm getting, getting big. Now coming into the majority or the, or what we call the major league. The major yes, league. yes, but yes. But what yes. I should um, preface, well, first, I should say thank you very much for inviting me as yes. your guest. <laughs> because I didn't know of the program, and so it was really? a nice, a nice um, difference, you yes, know, right. um, rather than be stoic in a conference setting or a, a okay. webinar panel or something like mm -hmm. that. This is much more interactive and conversational at that level. Yes. And um, what I should say, though, um, so the, the the whole a novelty about having this and also for Gael to have you all do this yes. on a weekly basis is so important that you can people can see themselves in you because uh -huh. there's so many sometimes of our seniors feel that they don't have to look glamorous again they don't <laughs> have to look and all that is part of the disengagement which is the, yeah. which is the word they, they kind of like well where are I going with my old self no, wow. no, 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 Daisy, speak. You don't need that lyric. You don't need that lyric. Not so what true. I will, um, which is what most of my audiences always laugh at when I say, now my major really is public policy and my area of concentration is in aging. It's a very strange yeah. degree. Uh -huh. And so I even had, when I was studying it at um, University of Maryland, I was the only candidate doing the aging track because everybody okay. else attached it to health or economics or something hard like that, like a hard time. <laughs> but because I've always been curious, always. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, from a large family, I'm, I'm child number nine. I'm the last of nine, wow. you know. So I've always been curious and wanting to know things, finding out and questioning. So that's what caused me to do this particular track because I was like, what is there in aging that you could do a post-grad degree in because all mm -hmm. we know is you get old and you die, you yeah. know. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that it's a death sentence that from the moment you become old. And what, what is the age that you become old? You see? <laughs> well, well so as, we see, these, it, as yeah. we see it, you become yeah. old after the 5.8G because this is the third act. Your second act is yeah. when you're busy mm -hmm. with employer yeah. and family acquisition and children. acquisition yes yeah. you're building and family now, house everything everything uh -huh. now we you have know? we have experience we have skill yeah. and we can truly choose so Correct. after this 30 year period we could think about old Correct. <laughs> old age <laughs> so what 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 um in in the public policy part what they have done as a construct just to help mm -hmm. them plan and and um and, and design for this yeah. particular group. They have um, designated 60 to 74 as the young old. 
Okay. 75 to 80, 75 to 80. Let me take note that I like oh, the young old. old. So 60 to 74 is your young old. <laughs> and 75 okay, to Okay, Terry, you're not there yet. I'm the young old. Right. So 75, <laughs> 70, that's the 74. 75 to 84 is the old old. Okay. And then 85 and over are the oldest old. So that's just a construct. So, so, so that where, they will know. Where, where the 50 to 60? They... No, no, no. Oh, they're, they're not, not involved? Old. And as a matter of fact, I'm glad you said it that way because, because of how um, um, technology has advanced, yeah. because of how sanitation has improved over all the years, and then med medical devices and assistive devices have catapulted. Our midlife now is at 60. So okay. 120 is the lifespan of a human being now, if you do it right. 120. 120 years? Yeah. So if you had in your head, and this is what I'm saying, it's so important to know what is the lyric that you play. Oh, yes. This is not yeah. what somebody's telling you. Mindset. This is what you play in. Yes. So if you have as a Christian saying three score and ten, boy, if I reach that. That's I'm a young old. <laughs> you know, yeah, Besides yeah, being a young old, yeah, you yeah. would have had that as a kind of plateau. Yep. Without mm -hmm. you even knowing it. Yes. You would just know, well, ah boy, I reach the milestone. What is the milestone? Ah. So it means you are also maybe using it unconsciously or subconsciously as a measure of your mortality, of yes. how near you are to maybe a fourth chapter mm -hmm. and that you're really getting down and then you're being nearer infirmity. And that's how the lyric begins. Yeah. From the moment you give that number life, yes, you start boxing yourself. Like you're supposed to be, do you remember the saying, once a man, twice a I child, twice a child. You are a, a, a man put away all childish things. <laughs> what if you are still childlike? Yes. Not childish. Yes. yes. What if you are, and when you say that, what do you mean by being childlike? It means you're spontaneous. You're going on flow. You you have no barriers in terms you're of- You're living your life. Into, you're living. <laughs> Like you said, be curious. Just continue. Be curious. Be curious. Why do you have to stop being curious or put yeah. a cap that I don't need to learn anything new now? Oh, yeah? Wow. <laughs> that's, oh, yes, that's, that, that's a death sentence. It's a death sentence. You know, Dr. Rouse, we have yes. been telling our followers all the time. This platform we have, the 5.8G platform, is really creating your own stage. Forget about what we thought it was, and you just mentioned all these things in our heads. But we are creating a lively, active, energetic stage where you can do whatever you want to do. You know, and we say it over and over if you want to start a whole new career, just change the mindset. And you said it, change the lyrics. Yeah, and this is what. This is what we all about. Ongoing conversation. Yeah. The conversation yeah. does not stop. And so even when you go to bed and your body sleeps, that internal is still talking. Yeah. So that yeah. your dreams and everything, you are unconsciously creating a template. Yeah. And you, and what is that template? Notice I would never say it is wrong and it is right. Eh? Right. But is it is, is that the template that you will want to be? Because yeah. right now, okay, so in in the in the average Joe Bloke out there, wow, Dr. Rouse, I have made it. Made what? Because <laughs> I told them my tombstone wouldn't have PhD at the end. It means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing on a tombstone. Because that is only for your tenure when you are in an office setting. Yes. You follow? Yeah. And Dr. that's Rose. how limited it is. Dr. I am Rose, waiting for Terry Ann to say a quote, Dr. I was Rose, that you spoke Jennifer. about just before I you was, came on. I was reading the, an article in the Atlantic and I've forgotten the name of it. And it talked about objectifying yourself and the danger 
of defining yourself by extrinsic means. So I am pretty, I am fat, I am thin, I am, I am woman, I am black, I am Indian, I am white. Yeah. And for professionals who define themselves as an occupation, when yeah. the job is done, they have yeah. a state statement. You go from the who is who to the who is she. Or the right. she. <laughs> and it's a shock for many. You are lost. It's you a shock. shock. Let's yes, have a pause. Some, if they, especially if they're not being recognized on the street. Yes. <laughs> You know, and this is a major like way boy people just passing me yes <laughs> and you that's, know that's that's what what this is the thing that brought us to that first stage of um dyson's novel where you you come into that phase where what you've been defined as for most of your life because we're going on yeah. stages most of your yeah. life how you were no socialized. No longer relevant. And mm -hmm. you, you, all the relevant people, apart from the fact that family, parents, friends may be dying, your, mm -hmm. your associates and the people who gave you yeah. relevance, you're no longer relevant to them. So you right. could end up in solitude that could get into loneliness that could become depression. Depression. Yes. And so you said something key there because um, that psychologist, Carl Jung, Mm -hmm. who some people know him. Um, Carl Young had a statement that he made and he said, you know, you cannot apply the program of life's morning to that of life's evening because what was true in life's morning is no longer that in life's evening. And the same, what was great in life's morning is now small or maybe in, inconspicuous yes. in life's evening. So listening to both of you, what happens is we all, based on family, friends, neighbors, school, church, those major mm -hmm. institutions mm -hmm. that nurtured and shaped us under the rubric of socializing us to who we are, in the growth process, which is the internal you now. Yeah. You went through, you obeyed everything, whatever, whatever. The mischievous ones or the ones who were um, deviant. Yes. They show it very early that, Hannah, this thing have meant like I'm a vice. Good. <laughs> so very early, they could show up here and I not really sure I following you right down the line, you know? Uh -huh. And you are then deemed bad behave, radical, uh -huh. disruptive, because you're not you're not conforming yeah. to what was yep. laid down. You know, and so what you have to understand is okay, up till about the age of 25 to 35, life dealt you a hand and you played it. But then in the aging process, when you now going up 35 to 40, you start a question. You question from maybe their spouse, how oh, I marry this person? This person <laughs> eh, even fit the template that I had as a you dream know? of who I would have liked. How oh, I reach here. You still love him. <laughs> him or her. But oh, you start a question. Yeah. You start a question. And the moment you begin to question what you have done without knowing the labels now, which is all that I have grown now to understand is a, re a reality that the majority of people don't stop to really say, well, where's this witnessing coming from? And yeah. those are, that's the kind of um, conversation you will get like in yoga and the more meditation practices on dealing with your aloneness now because you may realize now as you're going up in years children might have left yeah um through marriage as as well as emigrate to study yes and yes. there you are with a husband or a wife and you have always been busy or active with them mm -hmm, so yeah. you are now in what you call emptiness syndrome your props or the things that kept you active have gone. Mm -hmm. You never taught, you never prepared for it. And especially like, okay, I am in a big family, but I am number nine. It's an odd number. 
Yes. So the other eight were paid off. And huh? then I came five years after number eight. So I made my world of joy with my dolls. I talked to my dolls. I teach my dolls. I did everything with these dolls. But I made my little world. Mm -hmm. See? So what I realized now at this age, and by the way, y'all were very, um, when you were excited to say you can't wait till you reach 60, I said, don't rush it, don't rush it. <laughs> <laughs> one, oh, they say one step at a time, sweet Jesus. No rush. Two months. Everything two months. coming. The hormones, <laughs> the metabolism, everything working with you. I want because my bus when, pass. Eh? <laughs> I want my bus pass. <laughs> that is a small thing. That is a small <laughs> part of the thing. I know, because I know. Because here I am, and I, I, because I always, since I was about 40, 40 I say I can't wait to be um, 80. I don't know what is so special. I don't know what it is in my psyche. And people would always say, well, what you waiting for? I say, I don't know. I don't know what it is that I can't wait to be 80. And yeah. even when they ask me, well, um, you're going to write your, any book or something, I say, when I reach 80. And I think in my subconscious, I've just feel by then, you're supposed to have experienced enough, lived enough, and I just use any enough subjectively. Mm -hmm. And whether it's travel, whether it's friends, whether it's whatever, that you would have been able to deal with aloneness. Now, you all mentioned that in very early, very upfront. We have to let our listeners, our audience know there's a yeah. difference between loneliness and aloneness and, aloneness. Mm -hmm. and solitude. Yes. Yeah. One is a negative, that is the loneliness. Mm -hmm. and loneliness as the negative means that you are there is a part of you that is always yearning for the other yes mm -hmm. whether it's a dog a pet a, a, what something but something extraneous to them to you yeah and you're just longing whether it's a hug a cuddle a whatever it starts small yeah and before you know it you start self-negating yes. in the absence of that That's thing it. that you believe will complete you when a right. alone as a guy who lives alone and all his relatives have died and as he told me he sees himself as all in one that's how he uh, defines <laughs> i love alone. that yes you understand because it has an l but he put another I, I, l. I, really, I love all that all in one you understand <laughs> <laughs> and so if you just change and make a shift in the mindset, you are really all in one. But yeah. we have to be careful not to get cocksure and so very self, whether it's self-opinated, self mm -hmm. too self that you know you're walking around now with like, you know, you don't need anyone. You really don't need yeah. anyone. No. No. First mm -hmm. and foremost, a man is a man, generic man is a social being. Yes. yes. And, and, and for, to really grow, you need relationships. Mm -hmm. You need relationships at all levels because those relationships challenge you. You yeah. could want to be a monk and go up in the Himalaya mountains and all you're thinking about is woman and man or whatever that you, oh God, if I could just go to a pet. Oh Lord, I'm feeling for <laughs> cold beer. Those are the dragons that will take your mind <laughs> you. the cave. Yes. So who, who you're moving from? You're with yeah. you all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that is it in a crass form. Yeah. But so when now I'm near it, so I would be 70 next year. And what does that mean? That I'm getting down? That I no. I, I, I want to go back and play my pan because <laughs> retirement has opened up a whole <laughs> <laughs> yep. you don't want yep. to sound like we both eh? <laughs> yep. oh, and, you know you see a you see, you see why I want to be 60 <laughs> <laughs> listen to me when I was working and I'm talking about well more so as the director because now I'm in charge of a unit eh? mm -hmm. Whenever somebody asks me, so Rouse, you ain't, you ain't um, want a plant, some plant they offer me, I say, hey, the only plant I could see about is cactus and palms, where you don't have to water, sun, 
move it to a particular area because yeah. I don't have the time. <laughs> if you see men now in my garden, <laughs> I'm making sure I've got my gloves for particular plants who may scratch you and, and you know what I'm saying? I understand. Time but... has no boundless. <laughs> Would you believe? And I have to give you all this joke. I never bat a ball. I never kick a lime seed. You know, and I, I usually lie more with men. You know, it's they that calling me to know who's who playing on IPL. Like just now I would get my WhatsApp. So every night I have to tell them who are the teams playing next day. You know? And we communicating in between. You know, you think all are doing gear. You know, I never kick a line seed. I don't even know the terms in football, but I'm on EPL. English. You have, you have time. Because I have time. Yes. And you're so fine things. A, yes. And there's a statement, and when I will give you all this to get a hook on, there's one life is what happens between the plan, as one, and the other one is patience. Patience is what you do while you wait. Yes. Patience. You see, like how you has hurry in the six day? No, 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 it come in. No, it but I'm in. very busy in the interim, you know. Yes. I'm very busy. <laughs> and also to <laughs> listen to how you answer it. <laughs> busy is usually associated with nervous energy. You have to oh. keep involved. <laughs> so you're active. Change Act, the word. All right. Take the correction. Meaningful very engagement active. of what oh, yeah. you chose to be in. Oh, but, yeah. Oh, yeah. But once you're busy, it means you don't want to stop to think. You no, don't no, want no. to stop to reflect. You no. just have to be on the go. Nah. Correction. And then very you got active. That correction. Very active, active with a lot of purpose. So there you go. <laughs> so now roll with it. Very so active. I'll give you all you a know, mouthful. Dr. House, this yes, week, <clears throat> especially with Terrian boasting about her being 60, and we boast yeah. that we. I'm pulling out my NIV next year. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, someone told me, Jennifer, I find you all shouldn't be talking about old. When people talk about the old um, it aging them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, no, let me let me ask you, how would you respond to, 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 to that kind that of comment? question? Yeah. Well, again, check it. You are born. Only upside down. You give your wow, you start. Mm -hmm. By the next hour, they would say Jen is now one hour old. Mm -hmm. That's where it begins. Exactly. Yes. Time magical. And so it's all a question of what is the connotation that comes in your head. You'll sound stupid in saying you are one hour young, young in relation yeah. to what? Mm -hmm. So you are old because. And this is why I used to tell people in the division of aging, which I headed, it although the target group with the elders, seniors, mm. it is aging. We're dealing with a life course. It's a process. Yes. It's yeah. a process. That's it's the process. correct word. Yes. yes. And so why is it people are either aggrieved, averse, or kind of like, oh Lord, you know, that word is jarring. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to, and, and this is what made me so receptive to mortality and that none of us is getting out of life alive. Life. Life. <laughs> what an exclamation mark there. Now, whenever I tell this to the audience, say, oh, Lord, they're rolling off the chair with laughter. Say, all right. So now you understand. None of us getting mm -hmm. out of this thing called life alive. Backtrack. What occupies your head space, heart space, gut mm. space, knowing yeah. that you're not going to be here ad infinitum? Yeah. You don't know when the moment is. Yeah. What are you doing with moment to moment? Studying who don't talk to you? <laughs> you who don't like be living. You better be living. <laughs> because, and, and, and so, some so pessimistic. That if even somebody who gets a high from listening to the three of us and say, well, here these now, like they have joie de vivre coming all through them every pore. 
and then they use that as a frame of reference to see where they are but yes and they look at the lines mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and wonder how they're not even showing any lines and but they older than me that's where it begins yep that is joie de vivre, joy yep. of, is a joy, a merry heart is such a lively <laughs> heart. There is yeah. nothing more pristine and exquisite than when you see an elder, I'm talking about an yes. elder now, those who are over 85, 90. Yes. And you could see that sparkle in the eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they look cared for. The body, the, the hair is groomed. Every everything is groomed. They're not going on a fashion parade, but if even they were quality life, know, <laughs> feeling good about themselves. I'm telling you because I have uh, all my sisters, three of them now are uh, octogenarians. They're all in the eighties. Nice. Now, when my brother passed last year, we had to do the service virtual. All of them were in the pearls. Of course, I can. even when like I doing this, I spray my little perfume. It's only <laughs> after because it is so automatic. <laughs> and I am like, Rouse, you're going in your bedroom or you're, you're going in the your online. <laughs> that I is me on me. I want to smell good. Yes. I want to feel good. I you understand? Dr. Mm -hmm. Rouse, let me ask you a yes. question. In your sure. work in aging, our the whether it's the young old, the old old, I won't go into the oldest old right now. Yeah. Generally, how uh, do we have a problem having that positive outlook? Yes. For most and of I, us, what, what's yes. going on? Now that didn't come just so. Mm -hmm. We all of us, we use and we know as this group yes. of us. This group. Yeah, what, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> what is unseen, but what is a countervailing force is ageism. Like all isms, it is mm -hmm. discrimination against the elderly. Mm -hmm. Discrimination against getting old. Yeah. But the professor who coined the phrase before he passed, Dr. Ro Professor Robert Butler, he also showed that it is not only for the seniors, it's also for the young. Because when they leave school and they want a job, all the ads are saying four years experience. experience yeah. Where are they going to get it? You got mm -hmm. it? Yep. And then they have their own ageistic things when they are shunned by certain groups. Because you're too young, you you yes. you wouldn't you don't have to be around here. You follow? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so it is at both ends of the spectrum. So in answer to your question, this ageism is unseen, like COVID, not seen, smelled, tasted, felt, but heard, but it yeah. exists. Mm -hmm. And how you know it exists is the pop culture. Yeah. We in a, we still in an era of youth pop culture as the norm mm -hmm. when you listen to the budget you will hear the dominant resources going to mm -hmm. um education for the youth yeah that and sport for the youth for the, the the health system to keep you healthy Good. so it's the youth and those who have them. now they now start in the trajectory going up the yes. chain we we done in the waven gallery <laughs> we on our way out that's how it's perceived. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have worked. So therefore, you know, that fear mm -hmm. is such an, a subliminal message sent yeah. that you, and especially women, eh? now we, we could, that's another discussion, the whole genderized component of aging. Because a man can age, have yeah. a pot belly, <laughs> hanging out his pants, and he could come yeah. out, be a back, and nobody would give a hmm. <laughs> he could play jab jab. He could play juve beer back, and he has a belly like an eight month old. Nobody taking him on. And a D cup breast that could fit in a D cup. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But check the woman. Not that she could be beer back, but check the woman. Yeah. His counterpart. She has to like. You are not a girl like that. You know. Yeah. You have to yeah. be becoming. It's almost as if you always have to be mindful which is a good thing 
yeah. of your, of how the long time word was comport yourself. Yes, yes. So <laughs> if Jennifer and I want to laugh hard and laugh loud, because there are some kinds of laughter that will make somebody who don't even know what you're laughing at, they will start yeah. to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's so infectious. It's syrup because what, what they don't know is that laughter mm -hmm. is a tonic that they have the long word for the hormone, but what it does, it stimulates the joy hormone within you. Yes. So that it keeps you vital and it keeps your vitality. So when you laugh a lot, beside your cheeks, your face muscles and everything else getting used and lubricated, uh -huh. it also stimulates this internal hormone, this joy hormone mm -hmm. that is, and then oxytonin is the happy um, yes. enzyme. Happy mm -hmm. And so you could be walking down the road and you don't even know a smile is on your face. Yes. Yes. Until somebody will say, you you got a good joke or something, but it wasn't a joke. It's that internal juice yeah. syrup that is within you that keeps you buoyed. Now, yeah. I, I, we don't want to make the listeners feel that this is just a little walk in the park. You have to no. work at it. Because well, actually, it's a template you are building. And that's the point I was going to make because one of the things that we have decided is yeah. we are building our stage because, yeah. you know, Jennifer, we talk about the second act. A lot of us want to stay on that second act stage. We overstay uh, our welcome. Yeah, uh, and that second act, you've just confirmed that they're the clingy possessive and they're at the top of the world and they're the ones who give us all right. the psychosis. But right. we could leave that stage with our experience and our freedom yeah. and build our own and you know, I, my point is to, to get yeah. people to realize, hey, you can now do something so much better. Just what Jennifer and I are doing with Connections 50 Plus. Yeah. <laughs> and you see, what I didn't say, well, but you, most of my audiences, I've said it numerous times, not in all my audiences, but when I feel the energy is right to do so based on their energy, um, I started to study at 44. I never liked university. Yeah. I always found like these people feel so otherworldly, like, you know, um, don't you know who I am? And I, I used to be like, nah, I don't want to be so. But now look at how university now is everywhere. Yeah. It's now part of your... Part it's, of here, it's here, it's people here, it's here. People don't want to know what primary school you went, you know, what college, what university <laughs> did you attend? It is a given. And so not um, having that in me and that certain things I had to do now, I'm the last of nine. Since I was in kindergarten, I think I was seven, that I knew I was not interested in marriage or children. And it doesn't yeah. mean I didn't like them. Eh? Yeah. I will play with everybody's child and hand you back. <laughs> with complete grace. And no lingering to say, oh, Lord, that felt so good. I wish I could have. No. Yeah. So when I got older, I and people were really asking me in earnest, like, so you're not going to get married? And, yeah, and not then that. I realized. You know, not you're right. You know, they ask you these things. They were really good. I say, like you know what? Wrong let me you. start making a, let me put a twist on it. I say, here yeah, what? You see, in my last life, I had 10. <laughs> I had 10. I forget some of their names and I was only saying, hey, you come. Eh? I said, so guess what? I had twins in it. I had boys and girls. I did it all. I had 10. <laughs> I said, so in this life, I tell God, I say, God, send me back, but I'm going for me. That's now it. saying that to some, but she's it's selfish eh? and self-centered now. When you know Maslow, who is the psychoanalyst again? Yeah. Maslow hierarchy of needs. One of his needs is to be healthy, selfish, healthily <laughs> selfish. And this is why I say we have to know how we use our words. Yeah. Because somebody yeah. hearing you would say, but she said, so, well, she could just assume that, you know, I never, I have no aversion to children at all. Of course, hand me a puppy and you'll see me melt. Eh? I love dogs. <laughs> love. I mean, I, I mind them, I gave, when one was pregnant, I even saw them birth, you know, and all I didn't do is deliver them, you know, but it's a love 
-hmm. But somewhere I just felt complete that I didn't need that. And so yeah. what? Mm -hmm. So what? And it is those differences that have made some people clam up or didn't have the cojones, as we say, to come forth from very early mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. say, I am not following this, um, this plan that how all the others did. Because many times we just follow in the pattern of the parent before. Yes. So that my mother would be doing what her mother, you follow? And then we would be doing what? And you're really not seeing yourself as a radical and a revolutionary, but whatever. But these were, these were little feelings in me all the time that I just, and everybody knows me as smiley because mm -hmm. I got up from a mom, you know, that, that, that's how she was. But at the same time, look at where my life went. And yeah. my life went from my mentor and how I ended up, well, for somebody who didn't like university and she read PhD, how that happened. Sometimes we need a prod. Yeah. Because yes. we don't know our potential. Exactly. And as women, women, boy, we get a deal where we just lower our eyes. Which is how I was, eh? Lower our eyes. You don't look at anybody straight because that could be unthreatening. Yeah. And then if you raise your tone a little too much, you're aggressive <laughs> and not passionate. Jennifer and I never passed difference. through that box. <laughs> you know? And I am like, wee boy. But <laughs> it was my mentor, companion. I met him at 19. Yeah. And we were together for 23 years. And only when he was retrenched at 41, he committed suicide. Oh. And he was my mentor. Wow. Yeah, because the male. Yes, they can't do their that. Job. Does, and, uh, yeah. That is definition of job. self. <laughs> so that yeah. I'll tell you that is another conversation. Yeah. Good? And it is out of that. Well, we both used to do yoga and all, and all of that as well. But when that occurred, it made me say, when I say, you know what? I want to go somewhere. Now, this is, the, mm -hmm. this is the ability, child number nine, family setting as a community. Because the yeah. community, remember when they say a village raises a child? Yeah. The community support. You're not, you're, we, when you have those support blocks, mm -hmm. you have your ability to take risks is much greater. Yeah. So that when he did that, of course, you're kind of psychologically unplugged. Um, you're not even, it's almost like a numbing of the yeah. system. And when somebody, I think, came up to me and said, girl, I could have tell you, I said, I don't need to hear a story. I don't need, I know the, the story. What I'm supposed to know, I will know. Yeah. And when that first one came, I said, you know what? You cross water. Go somewhere where yes. you don't know anybody. Yes. And that's when I took VSEP from my job. Wherever that money took me, I was going. Yes. And that's how I did the journey, you know. Yeah. One step at a time, sweet Jesus. Yes. And this is where I reached. This is what it made of me. But I sometimes, when somebody who worked with me at BW say, Rose, you ever imagine if that didn't happen to you? I say, well, what I what would have happened? I would have remained in Biwi. Where is Biwi now? Biwi and La Perouse. <laughs> Biwi, that title, La yeah. Perouse. Yeah. That, we're talking about attachment to things. You yeah. know, yeah. that you yeah. don't want to move on to the next place. Yeah. I would have been collecting a pension. <laughs> The yeah. mortgage would have finished, and then I would be home. And what? You said I'm watching the wall. TV, whatever. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? And not yeah. knowing this, this. All of that is in you. Power. All of that was in you. Yeah. It's in you. And it happened, mm -hmm. as um, Jennifer put it, your stage. Mm -hmm. If even when you came into the world, you came with a stage preordained, let us say. Yeah. You are center in that stage and the and the play. Because remember, with a stage has to have a play. That's have a script. <laughs> you write your script. <laughs> Valentino said it. We on a stage. 
Mm. And so you could say to yourself, wait a minute, I ain't like that scene. That I, I don't like this scene all you have, man. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't have to like you. <laughs> How you put Jennifer to like me as if she's my best friend, my vibe. I ain't getting a good vibe off of yeah. Jennifer. So you know what? I changed in my scene. <laughs> but some people, because that muscle was mm. developed from very early, on how to make a shift, yeah. take a risk, do something that a girl or a woman not supposed to do in this male world. Or even some men have that yet. difficulty, yes? Yeah? Some men also more have than that us. difficulty. More than us, but yeah. we didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, we didn't know that. And so we were trained to marry men who were older thinking older meant wiser, more protecting, more comforting <laughs> and all that going through the door now more money <laughs> more money and that's a big one eh? that's a big one the reason. And you see that is what led him to that suicide because what his role as man was yes. decimated yeah and also midlife when men are in their 40s to like 50 between 40 and 60 that's the most critical critical mm. years for defining yes. who they really are. And there's got it? Yes. Dr. Yeah. Rouse, you're yes, sending like. such a heavy message, positive, yeah. for those of us who, I, I love this, the midlife, the young, old, yes. the old, old, even yes. the oldest old. Yes. That, yes, we need, and we talk about it a lot on our program, to release. Release. So just release and know, hey, this is the time we have to recognize. We have the time. Correct. We correct. should do whatever we want. Time and still this experience. Is no, <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is no time because yeah. at the earlier stage and the, the second stage, even the early third stage, you pay too much of attention to what others say about you. Yeah. And and again in chatting. You know, after these programs, you would have, you know, I have a friend may call and say, you know, you all spoke about this, et cetera. Yeah. And there's one particular one of just last week was telling me, you know, Jen, but remember in my time and this and that. So it's kind of hard now, you know, I, it don't make sense for me to do anything. And I'm saying, wow. this is it. It yeah, is so yeah. difficult to convince our cohort. Right, that right. is really the time. No. Mm -hmm. You're on a journey. Correct. Right? Say where you Correct. want to go and what you want to do and how you, you want remember, to look. They you remember remember too, they you know when they're going to die. They know that I'm going to die they, next week, so yes. I could stop. <laughs> no, no, no. You remember so Tina you know, Turner? This, when Tina Turner was battered enough, she left with 37 cents. Listen yes. to me, I look better. Wow. You understand? 37 cents. And she was yes. sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. How much more are you going to take? You know? Yes. So you're speaking, you're speaking to the wisdom of, of, of remaking yourself. Remake yeah. it. Give remaking. yourself permission to be yeah. who you want to be. Correct. And, and I think and the aging. Yeah. Yeah. And critical. And as we round up, because I'm looking at the time now, we haven't such fun. Critical yeah. to that, we come back to the issue of community. And even yes. though the majority of people might be, what you trying? And yeah, what happened to you? Find the one person. Yeah. Clock yeah. on to 50 connections with sure. us. Because sure. as you say, continue to be curious. Continue to build, recreate yourself, discover something new. The sky will not get dark quickly on us. <laughs> it's a process. You all open to that. It's a process. Exactly. And, and as you say, well, with, with, with time and you, you, with me, I was like, because every time I, re and this isn't growing up, every time I reach that milestone, you know, when they tell you when you are 16, then it's 21 then it's maybe marriage or in my and case, when you go to college and whatever, all these milestones comes like the horizon of a sea. When you reach it, you say, duh, um, <laughs> well, more waves, you bounce up more waves. I'm still there. <laughs> and you're still there, yeah. still standing. So what I have done, okay, Rouse, you had a handsome guy. 
he's no longer there. He was clearly not to be in this chapter of my life. Mm -hmm. No going to the analysis, that is paralysis. Mm -hmm. Just say you standing, you're yeah. standing in your center. And then I said, okay, so you did it. And you did the university and you got through. So now, retirement. And Grace Talma was the first person that I heard use the term refirement. Yeah. Not retire <laughs> and, <laughs> and call it may I retired. And so this year, my goal from now till my demise is to work consciously at being the best version of me. Yeah. That's my goal. Yeah. Take me, what you see is exactly what you get. <laughs> what you get. I don't have time for the, the games and the dances and the, the, the tippy toeing around and what you say, speak your truth. Like, your words carefully because you don't you're yeah. not coming from a place to harm yeah your yeah. intention must be aligned body mind and spirit you must be positive all the time in everything whatever shot at you you just say no okay so this happened to me now what what is what is behind the veil yeah. that i may not see right away you know but stay what we call equipoise, equanimity, equilibrium, whatever word you want to use, but that balance. Yes. That listen, a man is a freedom. You can't you can't quantify. You can't quantify. Sweetness. It, I tell you. Sweetness. you just have to live. It's a sweetness. It's a sweetness. You know? <laughs> no, I, I must give you all this joke because I have a wooden floor. I am a, in an old house. I say agent really follow me. Eh? I love my little bungalow. So I had a guy that had the cake come and paint just a little pantry area. So as he was walking out, he, his foot bumps a nail in the floor. So he said, hey, this is not good, you know. Look how this um, raised up here. But I wasn't ashamed to tell him because he's my handyman for everything. I say, here now, Randy. Kez was on the TV the other night. And I was jumping. So as I jumped, the lats <laughs> went down and the nail come out. <laughs> I jump on one leg, I wave my banner, you know? I jump on the next leg. It was Kez. I say, no, I ain't blaming Kez for the nail, but hell, me look a hammer, and he hammer it until the next dance. And I will jump again. And you he hammer see, it in again. You just see the little things on top, the bookcase shifting, and then they go back. <laughs> But that's me. <laughs> Have fun doing Have what fun. you want to do. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Because this is it's jo our essence is joy. If people Absolutely. would only know that, that your essence is joy. Yep. So when I see people so sullen and they look so down, you know, you just want to invoke. <laughs> Like you want to see, yeah, hey, give them a hey. yeah, boy. Because <laughs> <laughs> this what it is. So it's unfortunate that at this point in our lives, social distancing has kind of effaced um, yeah. hugs. Yeah, you know that yeah. we can't get out be a hug or mama hug. You know, yeah. but at the same time, so it means with the masking. People are now re more reliant on the, your eyes. The eyes, yes. yes. So that, you know, we know that is the window of the soul. Yes. Now it, you have to ensure that, that those eyes have a twinkle. Your they smiles have, have to get to the eyes. Yeah, yeah the eyes have the to eyes. show yes. that, hey, yes. yes. I ain't come to hurt a soul. I just yes. love, I am joy, I am peace, mm. I am freedom. Yes. This is the spirit. And I'm going out, so I'm telling you, I'm going out, so joie de vivre. That's beautiful, me. beautiful. Dr. Ross, I'm there with you, girl. I'm going out with you. That's <laughs> Waving and having a good time. Hello, we have a long time before we reach all this Ola. So oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going up Definitely. on the other stage. <laughs> Definitely. We're going up gracefully and seamlessly. Oh, yeah. you must know when you want jumping to and raising the nail. If Kess Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. You know, <laughs> I just love life. You know, because Beautiful. somebody even asked me what made me choose aging and they meant it in the context of old people. Rose, I didn't know you love old people. So, so I, I told them about my granny and how close we were. And so I said, but I, without sounding harsh or crass, it's not that I love just old people. I love life. 
Yes. Yeah. So okay. if my passion was tomorrow, somebody want me in um, early childhood, I would be with those little kids yeah. like a griot. Mm -hmm. Just have them around me in a circle and you're just giving them oral history of, of what course. the train yeah. was like going to school and they would be enraptured. Especially if you say it as we talk with our hands and very animated. Yes, and our entire mm -hmm. body. So of course. Yes, yes. Those are the things. So it's love for life. One. And I that's think, what I, I think that's, that's what a it is. Great point for us to end on. Yeah. And I was <laughs> and saying that. Love for life. Yeah. Love for life. Great. Thank you so much for having me as your guest. Dr. Rouse, you know, we, all three of us, can chat. <laughs> We could do three shows of chatting <laughs> on that. So beautiful to have different you with us. Because right now we did well. We did well. Yes, yes. No, we did we really, did. really good. And we will definitely have you back because there are other things <laughs> and aspects that yeah. we can talk about. And it's so important yes. for our cohort yes. to, to see what you can do. Because I think once people can sure. visualize what it's yes. yeah. like and yes. we are different. And what is possible. Is. And yeah. what is possible. Go ahead. So Definitely. fantastic. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for having yeah. me. Okay. Great. So we... Have a nice evening. You too. Okay. Thank you, Taran. For all you 50 plus people looking for a one stop shop equipped with dividends to guarantee personal fulfillment, social gratification, and economic well being, well, we at Connections 50 Plus have a state-of-the-art toolkit especially for you. This is no gimmick. It is an essential toolkit chock full of customized online assessments created by experts to help you greatly improve your life chances. It is the Connections 50 Plus 5.8G Essentials Toolkit. Gain peace of mind, lead an enjoyable lifestyle, plan your future, and make your dreams a reality. For without dreaming, we lose the excitement of possibilities. Dreaming is indeed a form of planning. Connections 50 plus 5.8G Essentials Toolkit allows you to dream. Seize this opportunity now. Call us at 868-685-8834 or 868-682-9202 or connect with us at connections50plus.com. Dreams are but a shadow of our potential. Let's make our dreams a reality. Jennifer, what a trip. I love Dr. Rouse. <laughs> yes, and I love name Jennifer just like me. Yes. <laughs> She's a lot of fun, a connected. lot of energy, really. You know, Dr. Rouse connected with us so much, and I'm sure she had she connected with you, our oh, audience, yeah. our your oh, followers, yeah. Oh, yeah. because everything Dr. Rouse, you know, all the information shared, yeah, is what we need to hear. Yeah, this is really what we need to hear to enjoy this journey, to enjoy the 5.8 G journey. Build your community. Build your community. Yes. So, I know that we had a great time this week, and so you. This was episode one. So we told you yes. next week, we are going to have a medical practitioner on, and we're going to talk about all the things that will help us to really make sure that we stay where we're supposed to be. You know, the real doctor, doctor stuff, not wellness, <laughs> exercise and drink water, but the real doctor, doctor stuff. Really <laughs> so you're going to see us next week and please check on Facebook because we have lovely little um, snippets of mm -hmm. how, what we talked about last week and what you can be prepared for as we go. So, And as usual, we look forward to your comments. Let us know how you feel, what yes. you think about it, you know, what we're chatting about. Share your experience with us. That would be great. So until next week, have a great time celebrating your young old 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 or oldest old context i love I'm being be, young old i'm gonna be a young old just now <laughs> i'm gonna be a young old <laughs> so, i want to refer to as young old so bye 50 plus tribe and follow us from trinidad and tobago and the caribbean thank you for joining us on this connections 50 plus 
5.8G Alive show. We hope you enjoyed the lively conversation <laughs> and look forward to seeing you next week. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really love getting your feedback. Bye, Bye for now. now.